what's going on guys today we're going over the top five isms of all time let's get right into it because at number five we have communism i personally don't like communism but it seems to have worked for china north korea and the ussr and they all seem pretty happy with it so i'm willing to give it the five spot on this list at number four, we got plagiarism. Now, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't plagiarize about half of my schoolwork, and I feel like it's definitely a system that we need to teach our children if we want them to have any chance at success in their lives. At number three, I'm putting fascism. I personally believe that the world wouldn't be as it is right now if it weren't for fascism. Shout out to my World War II homies. Respect. At number two, I'm gonna put sexism. This is actually a personal favorite of mine. Sometimes you have to put women in their place and remind them that this is a man's world, and sexism has done a pretty good job of that over the past Past couple of millennia. Before we get to the number one spot, I want to shout out homophobia and Islamophobia as honorable mentions. You know, they don't really fall under the ism category per se, but I feel like they do a pretty good job and serve the same basic purposes. And at number one, we have racism. We're going back to the classic with this one, guys. You know, racism has proven to have incredible influence on modern society. You know, you just gotta love it. It's inspired so much media and new vocabulary. There's just no beating racism, you know. The slurs, the injustices, it's all just so great. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you were offended by it, it probably means that your parents don't love you. 